Did you know that the first so-called Easter egg in a video game was in 1977 in the Atari 2600 game Colossal Cave Adventure, where there was a secret room containing text crediting the developer Warren Robinette. So with that, happy Easter. Today on the show, hybrid storage performance, which is like a delicious chocolate Easter egg, a new app service migration assistant, hiding all your chocolates, and you can now rewrite HTTP headers with application gateway and bunnies. Welcome to Azure This Week, a show embracing all holidays that involve chocolate. This week, Microsoft announced the new Azure FXT Edge Filer, now with even more performance, memory, SSD, and support for Azure Blob. Blob. The new Azure FXT Edge Filer is a high throughput and low latency NFS to applications running on Linux compute farms. Oh, you want numbers? Okay then, the 6600 model has 1,536 gigabytes of DRAM. Yeah, a 25.6 terabyte SSD and six 2510 gigabit network ports. And you can put 24 of these bad boys in a cluster. 24! That should be enough for a decent Bitcoin mining operation. As an addition to the App Service Migration Assessment Tool, the Azure App Service team has this week launched the App Service Migration Assistant. Great naming there, thanks Microsoft. The new tool helps you move sites identified by the assessment tool by quickly and easily migrating ASP.NET sites to app services. If you have a locally hosted ASP.NET app, you can now easily move it to Azure. Some of the features include providing an assessment of whether your app is a good fit for migration and a great wizard experience to walk you through the process. It really is quite easy. So try it out using the link below. HTTP headers allow the client and the server to pass additional information with the request or the response when loading a website. Azure Application Gateway is a web traffic load balancer that enables you to manage traffic to your web applications. The Application Gateway now supports the capability to add, remove, or update HTTP requests and response headers while the request and response packets move between the client and the backend. This is an important addition as rewriting these HTTP headers helps you accomplish several important scenarios, such as adding security-related header fields, removing response header fields, which may reveal sensitive information, stripping port information, and a lot more. This feature is now in preview. That's it for this time, so happy Easter, and make sure you get all the chocolate eggs. So see you next week, and keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.